yellow shirt, Steve Porter. He's responsible for our key fill and uh, what is that other kind? Back. Back. Lining. Yeah. Not nice job, makeup. Steve. That's and makeup. Everything. Telling us he which does camera it all. to look at. And then he'll clean the Dr. Pepper cans away, too. Welcome back <laughs> no. to the Screensavers. No, I'm that's Leo our job. Board. That's our job. Coming up in this half hour in Kevin's Dark Tip, he's going to show you some cool alternative video players. Plus, should our next caller, he wants to know, upgrade his hardware and software for video editing? This or maybe This is a really good question. Yes. yes. We'll find out in a little bit. So, home video crash course week. Do you have old videotapes? Yeah, who doesn't? VHS, remember, you mean? Remember these. Oh my Some of you still rent these and record on these. Yeah. They're called VHS tapes. <laughs> Jennifer, my wife, says, right. what's wrong with those? I said, honey, they look terrible. Right. I actually disconnected the VCR. However, <laughs> yeah, exactly. but we have family memories. We have things we want. A lot of people have home videos, family videos, sports videos. They're anyhow, you got yeah. VHS tapes. Hogan's Heroes. I had the entire collection. <laughs> I'm not even going to. Yeah. Just, uh, Every one of them. I taped them one day, you know. Where do you go with a statement like that, <laughs> folks? So what? I want to get them on my computer. Yes, you do. So you want to hear the tips first or talk about the process of getting it in your computer? We'll I talk about care. the process. If you're lucky, you've got like a 1394 camera, a DV camera. Firewire. Exactly. Yeah, this yeah. is one actually Andrew was talking about earlier this week. This so is a nice TRV33. And what you can actually do is use this, basically plug analog cables, plug inputs into this, and use the 1394 output from this camera. Sorry about we, that. So we recommend when you buy a new video camera, look for analog in. Yes. Because this basically becomes a translator. Yes. Hook and that a very, end. very nice one. Yeah. That, hook that into the camera and then hook the other. Can you do that in real time or do you have to dub to tape? You actually, what you can do is basically you, you hit, you know, kind of like pause or record on right. this. And it but it depends right on the camera. Essentially, you hit play on the VCR, it goes through the camera, oh, and in real neat. time, it goes through the 13. So this becomes a, a real-time conversion box. Exactly. And, and you're right. It's very, very good because that's what it does. The quality is excellent. Yeah. Exactly. And they've usually spent some time on doing that. The yeah. other thing you do is a ton of external gadgets. There's one example like this. The DVC-80 is a Dazzle product. Uh, the Hollywood DV Pro is Roger Chang's favorite. Right. You know, Dazzle's since been bought by Pinnacle. They've changed the models around. One of the things you'll notice with external devices that are designed to take an analog input and move it over USB, USB 2.0, or Firewire, is that you kind of pay what you get for. The less expensive the device, the $60, $80 device that works over USB 1.0, is generally going to capture a much smaller, lower quality frame of video than a $200, $150, device that get goes over USB 2.0 or Firewire. Get the Firewire 2.0 one. Yes. There's no way you can squeeze good quality video over USB At least not in real time. No. no, it gets a little unpleasant. And basically, there's some things you want to do no matter what you're using, whether you're running through a camera, whether you're running through an external gadget or an internal board. There's some things you want to look for. Find the best VCR you can get your hands on. Either one that you haven't used for a lot. If you've been running like the heads are all messed exactly. up online, if, yeah. it looks terrible. Insert name of Disney title here that's been played yeah. 700 yeah. times, Bandy. 400 of them from the rental place. Over and over and right. over. Right. If the heads are trashed, yeah. you know, in theory, somebody will go, well, you know, it's the reed heads. Well, yes, it's the reed heads. And the reed heads, if you run 4,000 rental tapes over it, the reed heads are going to be worn out and yeah. beat up. The one thing you want to look for is you want to try to find one that has an S video out. We've got component or Composite video, excuse me, composite video outputs here. That's the That's yellow lower one right quality, there. isn't it? Yes, this is the most basic quality. Basically, all the information for a frame of video is sent over a you know single, single pair of wires. Strand of yellow S videos. Let me yank that out. It's one of these crazy. So that's a little bit better. What it does is it separates the color information from the brightness information over multiple right. wires. That gives you a little bit better color quality, especially. And the best of all is the, is the uh, component video. Component video. You're not really going to find. You're, you're not going to find one of these that accepts component right. video. It's right. basically either composite or S video. Okay. When we go in here, this is going to mm -hmm. be composite in, yes. It's going to be or S video. Uh, it depends on the depends on the camera. Could be okay. composite. Could be S video okay. input. Okay. This camera actually has both. A lot of these cameras do not offer an S video it'd input. Be, it'd be nice to look for S video in. Yeah, yeah. it's one more thing to look for on the list. Again, another thing to look for, take a look at the cables you're using. Remember all of your, you know, your, your memories, your precious memories are traveling over, over cables. This. Although you, you can get that. all of these at Radio Shack. You can get all these, but like these are like classic, like it came in a box, it cost like 40 yeah. cents by somebody. a thousand of these. Yeah, the ones that have been chewed on by the cat, yeah. the ends are bent, they're scrubby. Um, spend some money. I mean, look at the difference between that cable and this cable. Right. And this is one that's actually been kind of beat up, and it's, right. you know, it used to be gold. Right. <laughs> but basically, look for a nice, heavy, well shielded cable, good connectors. You know, basically, some of you know, the gold cables you can buy into the concept or not, but chances are the heavier the cable, the better chance your signal has of getting through cleaner. Cool. I got a split. Go to thescreensavers.com. We got tips up there, we got links about getting the best quality video out of your VCR or that's your the best camcorder tip. and into your PC. Get a, next time, get a camcorder with analog in. That's the best tip. That's, I've got to remember.